Capitalization with Mary Morell. Some obvious uses of capitalization, initial capitals, is the beginning of sentences, names of specific people, places, and organizations, titles of books, plays, films, and legislation, and official job titles. So let's look at each of these. The beginning of a sentence is obvious, but what if a word starts with a lowercase letter, such as iTunes or ebooks? The obvious solution is to reword your sentence to avoid starting with those words, but if you can't, you need to decide whether to turn that first letter into a capital or leave it lowercase. It's your choice. We use capitalization with proper nouns, the name of people, places and organizations. I'm just looking at the names of organizations here because I think it is fairly intuitive to capitalize proper nouns. So take this example, the Attorney General's Department, it's got capitals. Attorney General's, when we abbreviate it, still has capitals. But when we are referring to the department generically, it's lowercase. We use what's known as title case for the titles of books, plays, films, and legislation. In title case, all principal words are capitalized. The words that aren't capitalized are the prepositions, to, by, the conjunctions, such as and, and but, and the determiners, for example, a and the. Some style guides believe that if a preposition is more than four letters, for example, between, it needs an initial cap, but not all style guides agree with that. You decide. Just remember, capitalise important or principal words. Official job titles also take capitals. General Manager Jeff Lee, that's his title, so it needs to be capitalised. However, if we are just using the term descriptively, it is in lower case. And one way of telling this is the use of commas. So Jeff Lee, the general manager, with commas around the general manager, lowercase. It's just a description of his position. A less obvious use of initial capitals is in defined terms. The Australian Government Style Manual notes that defined terms are used in legal documents, but I also see defined terms still used in policies. So when should you use sentence case and what is sentence case? Sentence case is the term we use to refer to sentences that have an initial capital at the beginning and then the only other words capitalised are proper nouns such as the names of people or places. So which do you prefer of the following headings? Hopefully you picked the first one and hopefully you hated the last one. Full capitalization is much harder to read. Now, I believe we should use sentence case for headings within business documents. They are much nicer to read than capitalization, title case, or full capitalization. The general trend is for more minimal punctuation, and one place this is obvious is for respect. We used to use capitalization for words such as bank, managers, team leaders. We wanted to show that we respected these organisations or people. This use of capitalisation is declining. However, pick your battles. Every board I've worked with likes being referred to with a capital B, board. I don't believe it's necessary, but I'm certainly not going to fight that one. But I am going to try and be consistent. To learn more about punctuation and grammar, register for my online grammar, punctuation and usage course.